Tickets are a thousand dollars. Anyway, bye. Oh, hey guys, welcome to my living room. That's right, we're in my living room for this very first episode of What's in My Suitcase? Let's dig in. Of course, my suitcase is the color blue because in my all time favorite color. The most important part about opening a suitcase is getting this tricky zipper. Got it. Let's see. Hmm. Lots of cool things in a suitcase. Very first thing is a bottle of water. Because friends, it's important to stay hydrated. Refreshing. What else is in my suitcase? Ooh, a picture of my husband and I. This is my husband, Jake, and he is a cutie patootie. So we're gonna put him right here so he can hang out with us today as well. Let's see what else is in my suitcase. Ooh, my all time favorite candy, lemon drops. If you haven't had these, you gotta try them. They're so good. What else is in my suitcase? Ooh, some board games. My husband and I love to play games. This is my all time favorite game, Blockus. It is so fun, you gotta play. What else is in my suitcase? Phase 10. Another essential game. You gotta try it. It's so fun. Ooh, banana grams. If you lose in this game, you might go a little bananas. But you still gotta play. Spot it. One of my all time favorite games because the cards are circle. Love it. Love spot it. Let's see what other games I have. <gasps> Jenga. I love Jenga. Jenga is one of those cool games because really, you can play by yourself. So I say, let's open up this bad boy and play the game of Jenga. Uh-oh, we're already off to a rocky start. We're good. Now, if you don't know how to play Jenga, the rules are very simple. You take turns, or if you're playing by yourself, you don't have to take turns, and you go around and you try to find the loose pieces, and your goal is to not knock down the tower of Jenga. Let's play. This is very tricky. I love this game. I love this game for a lot of reasons, but one of them is that it reminds me of a story. It reminds me of a story that we can find in God's true word, the Bible. And this story is called the Battle of Jericho, and it's found in the book of Joshua. And if you open up your Bibles, you can find Joshua in the Old Testament. And the Battle of Jericho really shows God's amazing power. That God's chosen people, the Israelites, were trying to overcome their enemies. And they needed to tear down and get past the wall of Jericho, just like this tower. But the wall of Jericho was really big. The wall of Jericho was really strong. And there was no way that the Israelites were, be able, were going to be able to knock down this wall all by themselves. So they listened to God, and God told them to walk around the wall every day, once a day, for six 
whole days. And the Israelites, they obeyed God. They walked around the wall of Jericho every day for six whole days. And on the seventh day, God told them to walk around the wall of Jericho seven times. And this time, they would have trumpets in their hand, and they would make as much noise as they possibly could with their trumpets, and God would knock down the wall of Jericho for them. So that's exactly what they did. They walked around the wall of Jericho seven whole times, and they made as much noise as they possibly could with their trumpet, and on the seventh time when they walked around the wall of Jericho, the wall fell down. It was incredible. This wall was huge. It was strong. There's no way the Israelites were going to be able to knock down this wall without God's help. And what's really cool about God is he is on our team. Just like God was on the Israelites' team, God is on our team. And he shows us that he's here, and he shows us that he's real, and he shows us that he's awesome by displaying his great power. So this week, use your eyes, use your ears, use your brain to look out for the ways where God is powerful in your life. God showed his power to the Israelites by knocking down the wall. It was no longer a problem for the Israelites. But God also shows power in your life. So ask yourself, how does God show his power in my life? All right, gang, thanks for coming to our very first episode of What's in My Suitcase. See you next time.